Hi everyone and welcome back. A special thank you to Miss Marky Desi, Desi, who sent me an Instagram message and said, I'm enjoying your recent reviews on Miss Universe Philippines. Thank you. And then she said, have you watched their gala night? I thought you should do a review and tell us who stood out on that night. So I'm gonna do that right now. Let's talk about the Miss Universe Philippines gala night and who stood out to me. Of course, we all have different opinions and I wanna hear your opinion. I'm going to talk about 10 different girls who really stood out to me, who I felt the need to write down who they were. I'm sure there's other girls that stood out to you, so let me know who those girls are in the comments, especially if I miss them. Number 10 on my list is Lucina, Lucina, Lucina City. I don't think I've talked about her yet, and she was so stunning in yellow. She carried this gown so well. She wowed me. I think she wowed the crowd. I feel like you can tell, like when I'm watching the contestant, I'm also kind of paying attention to like what people like the vibe of what people feel i always wish i was there because let me tell you when you're at one of these shows in person whether it be miss universe miss universe philippines one of these events you can just tell who gives an energy that the audience pays attention to we really noted that especially when we went to miss universe 2019 Every time that Zozie Beanie Tunzi, who ended up winning Miss Universe, Miss South Africa, when she would step on the stage, there was just something about her, about the way the audience looked at her, the way the judges looked at her. There was something special about her that you could just feel, especially when she came out in the prelims. I've mentioned this before in some of my videos, but in that moment, I was like, she's gonna win Miss Universe this year. So same with something like Miss Universe Philippines, if we could all be there in person, I feel like we would also get some of that energy. Anyway, enough about that, moving on. Next on my list is Miss Cebu City. A lot of you really love Miss Cebu City and I loved her too, she's obviously on my list, but I felt like there was something with her facial expressions that were kind of missing for me in this particular performance. She looked regal, but maybe she was a little bit nervous, which of course anyone's gonna be nervous in any of these performances, but it's, we don't wanna see that you're nervous. The judges don't wanna see that you're nervous, right? Because we understand, but we wanna see complete confidence being in the moment. So there was something about her performance that read nervous to me. Maybe I'm just reading it wrong. I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought of Miss Cebu City's performance down below. Next up, Miss Passai. I wanted to put Miss Passai higher in my list, but I felt like I was actually just so surprised and happy with so many of the other performances that this is where she fell on my list as number eight. No doubt she is regal. She's gorgeous. Her face is just unbelievable. I've seen pictures and videos from this night where she just looks like it's from a fashion editorial or from a beauty editorial. She is just so stunning. Her face is captivating. Her eyes, her expression, she's so gorgeous. So I really did love her performance and honestly, you could move these girls all around and they, they were just, they're my top 10. They're all amazing. Next up, Miss Bohol. I really want to see more from Miss Bohol. We've seen her in the top five at Miss Universe Philippines and I just feel like the spark isn't quite fully lit for Miss Bohol. She obviously is so amazing. Her confidence is undeniable, but there's just a little bit missing. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. I can't put a finger on it. I can't put a word on it. I can't describe it, but there's just a little bit something missing that I really hope is going to show up at the prelims and at the final night. Now we have Miss El Bai. I love Miss El Bai. I really wanted to talk about her more, so we're going to talk about her right now. She was looking like such a goddess in green. So many of you love her. You love her confidence, her aura. She definitely brings something special that honestly, I'm seeing every single day that she could land a spot in the top five on that final night. Let me know what you thought of Miss El Bai in green in the comments. Now we're into my top five here. I could have... You know, it's so hard. Now that I'm seeing this, I'm like, wait, should I put her here? I don't know. Anyway, in my fifth spot is Miss Bag Yao. She is really standing up to so many. She's a rising favorite. She looked gorgeous and confident. One of the things I always notice about her is her hair. Her hair is always done to perfection. Like. We need, to, we need to learn her secrets. We need her to share her secrets. She always looks so gorgeous. She looked confident. I thought Miss Baggio was just amazing. Number four, and I have her here because for me, she had one of the best walks, my favorite walks. That was Miss Davao Del Norte. I thought her walk screamed confidence. It was amazing. It was like the perfect amount of sass and comp. I just thought it was so great. So great walk, Miss Davao Del Norte. In my number three spot, one of my consistent favorites lately is Miss Tagig. The gown was unique. It was such a standout. I loved all the green gowns. Like red gowns are a classic, but these green gowns were just... 
they were just giving me something special. I absolutely loved them. Her walk was really well done. I really loved her walk. I loved her hair, her confidence, the way she was looking at the cameras. I thought Miss Tay Geek killed her walk. And honestly, I could plop her into the number one spot and be satisfied as well. I thought she was just looking totally amazing at the gala night. Let me know what you thought of Miss Tay Geek below. In my number two spot, this like this top three, it was a fight for this top three. In my number two spot was Misa Mis Oriental. In red, she looked so regal, so gorgeous. I really feel like she just nails it every time. If there's anything, I would just want to see her more. I want to see her on the stage for longer. Same goes with my number one spot. I'm sure you guys can guess who it is. Who do you think it is? Comment who you think is my number one. <laughs> it's Miss Makati. I tried so hard to not have Miss Makati as my number one. I know that sounds crazy, but I obviously am showing some favoritism towards Miss Makati. She just slays it for me every single time. She has confidence. She's smiling. She looks, she just looks like you could put the Miss Universe Philippines crown on her head. I almost said Miss Universe crown. You could put the Miss Universe Philippines crown on her head and it would be so fitting. It would just suit her so well. Like, it just felt like in that moment, she was telling the audience, I am the next Miss Universe Philippines. I was laughing because I saw a recent comment in one of my videos and it was something about Miss Makati and they, someone said they think she's too dull or she has no personality or something like that, which I respect everyone's opinion. I respectfully disagree. I just totally think she has as she has it all for me, but um, yeah, anyways, that comment made, made me laugh because I talk about her so much and um, everyone sees different things. So maybe some of you feel the same as that person. But anyway, hands down, she was my favorite for the gala night. I've seen other pictures of her and videos from that night and she just looks so regal, so sophisticated. So that is my top 10. One contestant who I would have normally put in my top 10 was Miss Panga Sinan, but she took too long on the runway. She totally took away from the time of the contestant behind her. I forget who that was, um, but she just took too long at the end of the runway, which I talked about this in my last video or two videos ago, three videos ago, that that is something you have to watch out for. You don't want to be too quick and you don't want to take too long. You definitely don't want to take too long and take away from that time from a different contestant because it just, you know, it just, it's not great. So anyways, I was a little bit disappointed to see that because you always just feel so bad for the next contestant coming down the runway. They don't get that moment. Anyways, love the gala night. Everyone looked amazing. I know there was other favorites, um, Ilo Ilo City or Ilo Ilo, I forget who it was. She was amazing. There were so many amazing gowns and walks. So let me know if I missed your favorite in my top 10. Let me know who they are in the comments and let me know who was your number one. If you could only pick one girl from the gala night, who would it be? With that, I hope you're enjoying all of these Miss Universe Philippines videos. If you haven't watched them, I have a top 10. I talk about the new crown. I talk about my favorites in the swim presentation thing that they did just the other day on Barakai. So check out those videos. Let me know what you guys think of those. And of course, let me know what video you want to see next. I will be highlighting a different country contestant for Miss Universe in the coming days. You guys have shared your suggestions. I recently highlighted Miss Columbia, the woman who will be representing Columbia at Miss Universe 2022. So if you wanna check out that video, you can watch that and leave your suggestions on that video for what other countries I should cover. And um, as always, if you wanna see more videos from me, you can hit subscribe. If you wanna see more of my everyday life, if you wanna see Lily, obviously she hasn't been on here as much, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok and you can find us there and I'll see you in the next video.